Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have our second Finnish Premier League match of the season away at IFK Muriam. So, this will be fun and not so interesting. Um, so, yeah. Um, not a lot going on here. Um, I think we're pretty much gonna just run into this the same way we did the last time. Um, I said there's really no real reason to change anything. I did have something I wanted to mention, but I forget what the fuck that was. So I'm just gonna save this thing and be done with it. Cause that's pretty much all I got for you. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember what, what what I was gonna say, what I had to fucking tell you about. But anyway. Um, we'll, uh, we'll just roll into this and, uh, hope to God shit works out right. Like I said, I think, I think we've got a good season ahead of us. I'm gonna keep saying, I'm gonna keep trying to be positive. But we'll see how that goes. I don't know, did you, did you notice I changed the background? The background's different now? Yeah, that's right. I can change the background with this thing. Skin, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Those are the words that I need to know. Um, I do like this skin a lot. Like I said, there's a little too much purple in some places, and I wish I could change that, but I have no idea how in the fuck to do that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, alright, we're just gonna go out there and play, and we'll probably get our asses kicked. Oh, fuck this yellow. We really need to go change that. Do not like this yellow. Why can't we just have white? Or why can't we just play in our blue? No, nothing. Why not? Anyway, um... Um, oh, uh... In between episodes, they had the draw for the, um... The League Cup. I think it's, I think it's their League Cup. Finish the League Cup. Anyway, um, we get drawn with FC Lati. So that'll be the next game here in a couple days. Um... I'm not sure how I'm going to approach that. I, I may look to kind of drop out of that competition. Um. Oh, Jesus. Clear it. Thank you. I may look to drop out of that competition. Just uh, concentrate on the league. I mean, I'm not going to necessarily look to. I should say it. It's just that if we lose, I'm not going to be too upset. Because like I said, I, I, the focus is going to be on this this um this competition um as it always should be if you're newly promoted side i mean you should really focus on this and not really give two shits about um anything else that's one thing that is nice about this league and the icelandic um football leagues you can play in is they have like that little cup that little tournament that we had um before the season starts so you can take part and potentially win that if you're looking to, like we did. And it won't or shouldn't impact your season, really. Unless, obviously, if you have, like, catastrophic injuries or people are tearing calf muscles and shit like that. Ooh, sucks a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's he's been restored to the site. He's back from injury and everything, so he's good to go. And that was a terrible pass. Who the fuck was going for that? Jesus. But anyhow, um, uh, there we go. See, yeah, I mean, I, I think this formation just does a good job of putting players in the right position um, when not in possession of the ball. You know what I mean? Like a good position to to slow down, to at least you know give players a challenge, so they don't have, so they're not able to just run through run through the defense and, and not have to worry you know, about being uh, closed down or anything like that. Of course, that doesn't mean anything if you get caught on a counter like this here. But, uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember now um, where most of our goals scored against us came from. And I'm going to I'm gonna assume that likely, uh, obviously, on the break and um, uh, in set pieces, if I remember clearly that's where most of our goals will be conceded 
at least that's the hope. I mean, and I'm okay with with that, just as long as we don't have too many open play goals where you know we're actually in defense and able to defend and in the right spot. But um, oof, there you go. Oh, actually, what I do need to do. Just thinking about this. Just occurred to me, Wusu. Let's move you. Um, to that, to the other defensive midfielder, because one of them is more, one of them has the defensive role and one of them is a support. So one of them is going to get a little bit more forward and handle the ball a little bit more. Um, Haglum doesn't seem to be, um, really into having any offensive qualities, so we'll move him to the, uh, more defensive spot, because Owusu is a little more well-rounded, at least in my opinion. And we did have him playing in midfield, did we not? At times before, so that's what we'll do. Uh, I need to go. Need to go change that before the match. But um, I also think that this formation allows us to get the most, most of our best players out on the pitch. Jesus, that hit him like right in the fucking head. Oh come on, Jesus, they're. Finishing and shit is just terrible. They're just shooting the ball all over the fucking place, aren't they? So, anyway, um. Like I said, I don't really have. I'm trying to remember. I had something to fucking say. Yeah, damn. Hmm. We might actually generate some goals for Osei here. <laughs> That'll be nice, considering he's so. offensively talented, but is incredibly goal shy, apparently. Yeah, shut him down. Shut his ass. That is one thing that I've, I've noticed is very nice. This formation, because how deep we sit, when the ball goes out to the fuck. When the ball goes out to the flanks, quite often there's two players out there. And this is probably a goal, by the way. This is a very good position for a free kick. And there's nobody. Nobody. Anywhere near that. Jesus. Robbie will likely be a halftime substitution. Likely. Hmm. But anyway. Um. Yeah, I kind of like having a woman that more, more defensive role. That's. Um. Jesus. I just got nothing today. Completely, completely nothing. I am excited for this season, though. I, I have to admit, I mean, uh... Ah, now I remember what I'm fucking... was gonna fucking say. Fucking, yeah. Uh-huh. Um... I am, I am getting a little more excited for this. Ooh. That was a nice idea, but... Putting it in the air was not a good, not a good idea. Um... I am getting a little excited for this for this season. Finally, you know, I remember remember when I was talking about maybe giving up on this team and and going somewhere else and doing something different. Um, I am getting a little more excited for this team now because of this formation. And um, quite honestly, I'm having a tough time um, like not playing my uh, their uh, my Galway United career because, like I said, the the Icelandic club that I picked up, Thor Akureyri, is has has all sorts of talent was able to sign all sorts of talent that has no business having and that's exciting plus like i said we turned professional and yeah all sorts of exciting shit as far as i'm concerned and those are one of the, those are some of the things that kind of kind of get you really amped up to play this game but uh, i am a little more excited to play this now like i said because of this formation like i said just having seen it perform on such a high level you know it's it's nice it's nice to know that you get something going, you know, something going right for sure. Oh, Jesus. So, I mean, like I said, just for me personally, you can kind of, that's good. That me being excited, even though right now I have absolutely nothing else to say about this for me, about this LP or anything that's going on in front of us. You know, it, it it's one of those things that it gets me excited to play it at least. So, uh. Hopefully they'll see a little bit, a little bit, a lot more of this LP being uploaded here soon. And maybe we'll make some real, real progress this summer on it. Um, don't hold your breath, though. 
Uh, <laughs> quite honestly, don't don't hold out for too much. For too much. And we'll switch Harala and Awusu because Harala is a little more. A little bit a little bit better. Um Yeah. Not quite the not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Um wouldn't be surprised if they score a goal here. Especially in the early going. They seem to like doing that. But um we do have we do have um we do have a goalkeeper coming in next season, I think. I think on this on this I think we have a goalkeeper coming in. If you remember if you remember me talking about that few episodes ago when um, when we were able to sign him. Yeah, you're just gonna give me fucking cards everywhere because you know apparently we're the only ones who ever commit a fucking foul, but hey, whatever the fuck. Ugh. It is still doing that shit, by the way. The whole fucking Hey, you're not allowed to fucking tackle or close anyone down because, you know, that's that's against the rules apparently now. Fucking whatever. Like I said, that, that's the thing that really fucking pisses me off, too, about this, is... This is... Uh, I'll show you. In, in FM15, this defending it, all these things, obviously, with the exception of, like, use tighter marking, shit like that. These are all classified, or obviously, staying on feet and get stuck in. These things are... They kind of expanded upon them, but these things are now closing down. Like, how much you close down, which... I mean, apparently, like I said, closing down equals fouls. I don't know how the fuck that happens. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, closing down means exactly that. Closing the distance between you and the player with the ball. Now, I don't know how there's physical contact involved when you're running through space. But, you know, I mean, I understand when you get there. But as far as I'm concerned, that should be covered under tackling. That's where, you know, tackling hard should be. I mean, so closing down is just how quickly... And how often you are going to get there and close someone down and how vigorously you close them down I guess is a good way to say it whereas the tackling portion should dictate how hard you tackle once you get there but apparently that's not so in this game and hassling opponents equals cards I don't like that at all and that's something that really really irritates the fucking shit out of me it really fucking does Good God. Mm. See, so like right there, like like your hassling opponents right there should be should be dictating the longer they're on the ball, you know. I mean, the quicker you're gonna, not really the quicker, but you know, the more, oof, the more you're gonna look to get there. You know, I mean, the, the amount of time you give them on the ball should be dictated by hassling opponents or you know whatever. But it's not necessarily the case. And that is something too, I mean, I may look at in the future. I may look at taking that off because of um, the player instructions to close down more in, in midfield. That may be enough to just... That may be enough to just handle it quite, off, quite often, quite honestly. So, I mean, it's... Should have been paying more attention, quite honestly. I should have been... It's really my fault. I should have been paying more attention to that shit, but it is what it is. And they cannot fucking find the frame at all, can they? Jesus. Just good lord. Oh well they're not gonna get a card now, are they? Oh look at that. Look at that. There is justice in the world after all. There is something too. I don't think it's in this game, but I mean I believe in um in certain competitions I'm not sure if this is global but I didn't even hear about it until until this year I was watching like Atletico Madrid and oh fuck somebody fucking play and there were cards everywhere the ref was bad but I mean there was like something like eight or ten cards per team I mean, it was just ridiculous it's just ridiculous and there were a couple of players sent off obviously right there's that many cards flying around. But, um... I, uh... I, I came to find out, find out through the... Through the, um... Commentators that there's a, uh... There are rules in place that if you get, like, six cards or something like that, you, um... 
you, you incur financial penalties and stuff like that to your club, which is interesting. I, I don't think it's a thing. I, like I said, I don't know if it's if it's only exclusive to only the um, the Spanish leagues, or I think I think it was just a Spanish league game. I don't think it was a. I don't think it was a whatever you want to call it game, a uh, Champions League game or anything like that. I'm pretty sure it was just a. Uh, it was just a Spanish league game, but I mean that's just weird. Just like like I said, I'd never even heard of that before, and then you know, like I said, I don't think it's a thing in this game. I don't think I could be wrong. Once again, I've never managed in Spanish football, so I wouldn't I wouldn't know. I never really looked at the rules for Span any of the Spanish leagues because I'm not really interested in coaching there. So it is what it is. But you know, like I said, it's 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 funny because. As soon as like I watched that match, right around then was when all the fucking cards on FM14 started happening to me. And now I'm sitting here thinking, and there have been games where I've gotten seven, eight cards. It's, it's fucking bullshit, quite honestly. I don't fucking like that shit at all. But yeah, you know, just something else for me to um to to think about. And like I said, I got I should have paid more attention to that and changed because since I changed that we've only fouled once. Of course I believe we're surrendering a little bit more possession to the Oh Jesus, there it is. Oh my god. Can they find the fucking frame or not? Sweet Jesus. I mean they've had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity, but good God. Just nothing going for them. And like I said, they've created some nice one-on-one -on -one or decent chances, like, especially like that last header. I thought that was a goal for sure. I mean, oh, like that. there it is. I thought you were going to fucking dick me there, too. I thought I was going to give out another card to, to Bachman and make me go down a man for the final you know, five minutes of this fucking match. And I, I do expect a, a decent amount of cards. I mean, like I said, I mean, oof. there are some weird, uh, like, visual glitches, like with the fucking goalkeeper. There have been times where, like, it's uh, like he makes that catch or whatever, like that, but the ball literally looks like it goes into the back of the net. I've seen that a few times. Like, what in the fuck just happened? And, and uh, yeah, it's just a weird, weird visual glitch where the ball is like not not on the goalkeeper, but he caught it. It's weird. Where the fuck are you going, Bachman? Jesus Christ. Oh, gee. Oh, god damn. Really? <sighs> Fucking Christ. I don't think we're going to have Saxella for... Fuck the whole goddamn year, honestly. Where the fuck is... There you are. I was going to say, where the fuck is Granholm? Good guy, I think we're gonna have to. It's a good thing we retained his services over the summer, because shit. I mean, fuck. Good god. Not only does he come back from an injury in this game and then fucking injures himself, although, truth be told, it's probably a good practice to substitute him off, but. Well, that's a disappointing match. But it is it is on the road, and quite honest, I'm not expecting to win the league this year. So mm, I guess I'll go with that against a quote unquote much 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 better team. But I mean, if that if that's going to be what we're going to get on the road against the better teams in the Finnish Premier League, I think we can be okay with that. Because as of now, in fifth place, we're only. Two points off the lead, so of course so is my pod and Mariam and Oh that's it. I see Lottie and Inter are up there at the top. It'll be an interesting season. And see this is one thing that I like it like to look at that. Look at that. No goals. Of course we've only fucking scored one, but you know, hey. No goals through two matches. Um pretty pretty happy with that. But anyway, alright, so that does it for this episode. The next match we'll have is going to be the um, League Cup match. Like I said, not really excited about that. Like I said, wouldn't, wouldn't be too upset if we get, get kicked out of that. 
because it'd be uh I think it'd be best for us so that we can concentrate and make sure we get rest because we've only got like two or three days in between this match and that match so um not a whole lot of rest and if you saw how much of a fucking beating our players fucking took I don't know if you noticed that well, their condition was relatively low, which is indicative of uh, sustaining minor injuries throughout the course of the game due to tough tackles. Wouldn't be because of fatigue in between the games. I mean, they're not, you know, they're relatively in shape, fit, I should say, because we already played a bunch of games with them and won that first little trophy. But we're also looking at, you know, having five, six days of rest in between the last match and this one, so... Plenty of time for them to be rested, so it's not not a fatigue thing. It's them getting fucking beat up, which, yeah, whatever. It irritates me when that happens, and yet we're the ones getting cards. And we're not injuring their players, although I think we did injure one of them or two of them. But we're the ones getting the cards. But anyway, all right, point is, this is where we are. Anyway, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.